Hello everyone. Um, in the true sense of the word, this um, video is going to be epic. Um, it's going to be very, very long, unfortunately. Sorry about this one. Um, and I am looking at uh, my 360 Shmup collection. Now, it is by far my most complete collection apart from my uh, Dreamcast one, which is uh, complete. Um, I think I'm missing one title um, from, from the 360 set. This is not including kind of variations um, and, and different regions. Um, so there'll be a mixture of, the, of US, um, Japanese and PAL releases um, in this video. So, uh, so let's crack on because we've got a lot of games to go through. Right, first game I'm going to show you is... There we've got UK version of uh, Wartek Senko no Rond. Um, and as you know, it's released in Japan as um, Senko no Rond, um, based on an arcade series. Um, we'll, we'll get more onto that with uh, with another game later on down the line. Um, PAL editions not got bad artwork actually. The, the Japanese version is probably the best. I quite like the US version, which is a version of this. But I quite this is it's quite an abstract front cover. I quite like it. Um, this one should be dirt cheap as well. And this was actually the first uh, 360 shmup I picked up, I believe. So um, it's one worth picking up. You know, five or six quid. Um, you can even, you know, you can even pick it up for cheaper than that. So that's the first game. Next game I'm going to show you is a game I showed a few uh, weeks ago, and it's a recent pickup, and it's. Um, Shooting Love 2000X. Um, so this is a compilation um, game from um, it's uh, Triangle Services. Some, you know, it's got Trizeal on it. This the arcade only and 360 only sequel um, Exile. Um, a load of kind of shooting bonus games, and it's got remixed versions of um, both the main games on the set as well. Um, it's also got a game called. Um, is it Absolute Zero or something like that, um, which I mentioned in the video, which is, it, it, it's a really cool little kind of um, score challenge game, survival as well, um, but yeah, great set, should should cost you around about the, on a good day you can pick it up for about 35, 36 quid, but it's one of those ones where, you know, if there's, there's, there aren't many copies around, the prices bump up, so um Apparently there are, it's quite a short run, I think there's only supposed to be 4,000 copies out there, so um, it is, you know, quite a, not a rare game, but an uncommon game, um, and the the Japanese version, there shouldn't be another release version of this, they all should have the um, Super Play DVD in there as well, so, nice little uh, collection there. Yeah, sorry, these aren't going to be in any kind of chronological order. Um, they're, they're coming out that way at the moment, but um, yeah, I've I've got far too many games to show to kind of sort them out into order. Um, there we go. Possibly the second game I actually bought, and the first Japanese game, uh, Raiden Fighters Aces. Um, released in the US as well. Um, this is the obviously the Japanese version, which has... The additional uh, Superplay DVD in there. Uh, the US version didn't have that. This is kind of slated for a tentative UK release. Well, not UK release, a, a German release. But the company that kind of, yeah, that's releasing these games has basically gone bankrupt. So um, it's questionable whether it's actually ever going to come out in the, in, you know, in the UK. And it's been advertised on Xbox Live for for years and years and years. So uh, nothing too fancy about the. Uh, instruction booklet it's all colour but it has got some nice artwork on the you know on the instruction book and on the front as well so uh, again shouldn't be ridiculously expensive the Japanese version sells for probably double the price of the or even actually or maybe three or four times the price of the the US version because you can pick it up very very cheaply um, but out of choice I'd, I'd go for the Japanese version it's just a nicer package Okay, um, another 
Japanese game, early 360 shoot 'em up release, and it's uh, Raiden 4. Again, another one that got a US release. Uh, a little bit more expensive um, than Raiden Fighters, but still should be quite kind of yeah affordable. Um, this really is one of my favourite 360 shoot 'em ups. It kind of floats between this and um, another game I'm going to show you later on down the line, which we'll we'll, we'll discuss. Um, I, I love Raiden 4 just because it's just a completely hardcore shooter. No no lollies, no kind of um, bullet hell sections, even though there are a lot of bullets on screen. I wouldn't class it as bullet hell because you're, kind of, you're more reacting to bullets that are fired at you rather than you know shooting patterns. Uh, lots of interesting kind of side quests in the game as well. You don't have to play the game, it's just a straight shooter. Um, lots of interesting little bonus um not side story type things, but a lot of you know, extra things to go for to get bonuses. Um, yeah, it should come with the official soundtrack as well. Uh, again, another one of those, another one of those uh, releases that's got a quite a nice art book in it. Not art book, sorry. Um, there we go. Instruction booklet, not amazing, but but again, some there are some nice little bits of artwork in there. But quality, quality shooter. Uh, next game I'm going to show you is there we go, Castle of uh, Shikigami Three, or uh, Shikigami no Shiro Three, sometimes as it is known in Japan. Um, I think this is possibly the best one in the series for my for my um opinion. Not a huge fan, to be honest. Um but the third one I actually really quite like. Um it's quite tough, it's very kind of um frugal with its achievements as well. Um it comes from kind of the achievements come from playing the game quite a lot. And again, it's got some Quite nice artwork on the instruction book. I seem to remember the manual on this one's a bit kind of it's colour but it's kind of more functional than anything. Actually no, that's quite that's quite nice. Maybe I'm thinking of the um the the menus in the game, because I think they're quite plain. But um yeah, I mean a lot of you will have played the first and second games in the series because it got a pretty wide kind of Western release. So the third one is kind of more of the same. If you like the previous two games, you'll like this one because it kind of it it plays very similarly, but it kind of like expands on the kind of scoring system and graphically. And mu the music's actually really good on this. Um, and there's loads of game modes as well, so it's one worth picking up. But again, one of those ones where short print run. There aren't that many copies of this one around. It's similar. Maybe to um, to um, to shooting love. So um, once look out for if you see it for a nice price. Okay, then the next game I'm going to show you is um, Auto Medius uh, Gorgeous, uh, one of the earlier uh, 360 shmup releases, and uh, lovely artwork, levels of presentation all the way through the game is great, and uh, it's basically got a version of the arcade game in there and also a version of the um, original mode uh, which is kind of unique to the 360 port um, and it's probably the part of the game where you'll get most gameplay out of it because it's it's uh, there's, there's quite a few levels on it whereas arcade modes basically it's, uh, it's almost like a score challenge it's only three levels long and it is focused around just scoring as much as you possibly can interestingly this uh, didn't get a limited edition release as such. Um, there was an edition release in Japan that included um, a arcade stick with a touch screen on it. Um, basically, the arcade game actually had a, a touch screen, and you used to and you kind of control the game using that uh, as well as a, as a joystick. Um, but I can honestly say I didn't want to pay the the ridiculous prices that were were going for that for that version. Um, I might keep an eye out for it, you know, some point down the line um, when I've completed, when you know, when I've bought more games that I actually want to buy. But um, 
yeah, it was uh, quite a <laughs> quite a hefty price tag for that one, and it was quite gimmicky as well. I don't think it actually worked that well, so uh, it's a bit of a curiosity. Um, okay, there's actually a um, DLC card with this one, and um, that adds an extra. I think it's a character or costume or character. I can't remember which one it is, and. The first print edition also had um, a little comic book included with it as well. And quite a nice um, instruction manual, this one also. It's quite a cool game actually, and um, it's Gradius Heritage is, is kind of written all over it really because uh, some of the backgrounds, some of the musical cues you'll you'll see is instantly Gradius. So um one for the for the Gradius fans I think. Next game I'm going to take a look at is um Mon Maru. Um it's a G Rev game um, and it's uh, it's a bit of a hybrid to be honest. It's uh, I don't know, it's al it's almost like a um uh, an adventure game. Um, it's certainly kind of uh, horizontal scrolling, and uh, the levels of presentation in the game are quite cool. It's a bit of an unusual game, um, and it's one of the very few PS3 uh, shmup releases as well. Um, there, there is a, uh, a part on the console which has, you know, extras. It's kind of like the final revision of the game, really. Um, you do get loads and loads of extras with this. Um, so we've got the main packaging itself. Lovely uh, manual in this one. There's also the Insanity DVD. Is it the Insanity DVD? Yeah, the Insanity DVD, which is one of those uh, super players. And it's also got a soundtrack in there as well called The Perfect Terror. Uh, yeah, not uh, not one that's kind of hugely highly regarded to be honest, but um, it's a good so it's a good solid little shooter, um, and one worth picking up because it's not that expensive, um, and that's the this is the limited edition version, and um, again you can pick this one up for for quite a good price, so uh, well worth checking out. Okay, next game I'm going to show you is uh, a Japanese version of Death Smiles Limited Edition. Um, I've actually got this game three times, so um, it, with presentation-wise, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's uh, and it really is one of my favourite, um, yeah, vertical scrollers. Um, I've spent a lot of time with this game. Um, so close to one credit in it, it's unbelievable. Um, in fact. I, I will someday actually complete it, but graphically very very impressive, very accessible, and I I prefer it far more to the sequel. Um, but as usual, the lovely levels of presentation in the game. It's all about spine cards, <laughs> um, but they really made an effort with this release. Did Cave and um, it was kind of like a sign of things to come really with the releases uh, bit of exclusive DLC as well for this um, I can't remember whether it's a character or not uh, but you know again relatively cheap now you know I, I, I heartily recommend it I really really do So whilst I'm at it, I'll uh, I'll show you um, <laughs> Death Smiles 2. I can actually uh, there we go. Death Smiles 2 limited edition, and again, I, I I think it's a fairly average game to be honest. It's not great. The the boss fights really put me off the game, and it's not as um, I don't know. The gameplay is not as not as nice graphically, not as nice. But again, it's still really, really good. Um, I really enjoy it. And the limited edition, you know, le le the levels of presentation are always good. And this was one that I, yeah, I kind of picked this one up later on. I didn't actually buy this one uh, when it came out. 
which is unusual. I do normally kind of like make a beeline to actually get the uh, limited editions. Uh, really, really good nick as well. It's all about the spine cards <laughs> on the uh, soundtrack CD. It's kind of quite Christmas themed as well, which is uh, which is quite cool. There's a there is a tradition of uh, of cool kind of Christmas releases on the uh, you know on you know on the tradition of Japanese games really. Um, yeah, there's a bit of uh, advertisement there for uh, for another game. Again, they always kind of like. Um, make the effort when it comes to presentation to cave and this is no exception it's very average i i i do think there's some magic there but again it's um one you can pick up cheap and um quite easy as well in comparison quite easy it, i can i can one credit this one no problem